Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you talk about the Java origin and evolution, so the Java has been actually developed by the Sun Microsystem and which is now being taken over by Oracle. And it was, a, it was made as a general purpose programming language similar to C and C++. And again, it's an object oriented programming language and a platform independent. So we will talk about details about object oriented programming that is OOPS uh, in detail in the future uh, in this only playlist only. So what is OOPS and we have just got a brief introduction about the platform independence in the previous video. So it was uh, it is uh, uh, an object oriented programming language and uh, is a platform independence. Also, uh, it was originally made for uh, consumer electronics, but now Java has been widely used for billion of devices ranging from smart cards and supercomputers. Now, if you talk about the Java ecosystem, so we have generally these five uh, ecosystems. So we have Java card, we have micro edition, standard edition, micro profile and enterprise edition. So if we talk about uh, this uh, Java card, so Java card is actually uh, a smart card. So this is uh, this is a smart card. And this smart card can be used additionally to your SIM cards. So it can be used with the SIM cards uh, as a smart card. Then we have Java micro edition and Java micro edition can work with smart TVs. Okay, it can work with smart TVs. It can also work with setup box. So this is this is where it can be used. Then we have this, which is Java Standard Edition. So Java Standard Edition is our main concern because here only we'll code and uh, we'll write our program everything. So Java Standard Edition provide you with JVMs, which is Java Virtual Machines. Okay. And it provides you with the compiler, etc., etc. So we'll talk about what is JV and what is compiler in due course. So this is the standard edition which we'll be using uh, when we write our code. Then we have Java micro profile. So the Java micro profile is uh, mostly used for microservices, and uh, it, it allow us to define uh, for a server how our application should be deployed and run as a microservice. So it is used for microservices. Okay, and then we have Java Enterprise Edition and Java Enterprise Edition would be used for web services, message passing, etc. So web services. So this was a journal ecosystem, but our always focus would be this Java Standard Edition. Others are just uh, we need to have an information about that. Okay, Java card is there, Java micro edition is there, micro profile is there, enterprise edition is there, but uh, we don't require to study much in detail about this, or we don't we won't study this. If you want to make any projects in Java, you can choose any of uh, these. You can even uh, make projects in standard edition, but yeah, you can even choose uh, micro profile or enterprise edition as web services or something and make your projects. But uh, if we talk about coding, if we talk about writing code, doing um, uh, uh, like solving problems and uh, handling data structures and algorithms, we'll use the Java standard edition. So we'll discuss more about Java uh, in, the few, uh, in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned.